so new just news just came out about BNGO doing a, another public offering of common stocks. Now I just I was actually ju I just finished editing the 10K challenge video and this just came on while I was done and I thought I'd just make another video on it. Why not? So it did move down to six percent. Actually, it came close to nine percent, so it came up a little bit. Now. Let's look at what's happening. So, BNGO announces proposed underwrite, underwritten public offering of common stock. Now, this is different from the previous one that they did. We'll just carry on and I'll just show you why this is different. So, announces today that it plans to offer and still subject to market and other conditions share and it's common stock of, uh, in an underwritten public offering. They can. There can uh, be no assurance as to whether or when the offering may be completed or the actual size or the term of the offering. Binona also expects to grant underwritten 30-day option to purchase up to an additional 50% of the number of shares of common stock offered in the offering to cover all over allotments, if any. All the shares in the proposed offering are to be sold by BNGO. Now there are a few companies here, groups, LLCs that are involved in this. Uh, let's just move on. The shares are being offered pursuant to a shelf registration statement on Form S3, including a base prospectus that was previously filed by BNGO and became automatically effect under the rules of the SEC. Uh, okay. So yeah. Okay. So pretty much. So now the company announced a mixed shelf offering, so there's no disclosed size and proposed underwritten public offering. Yeah. Now this shelf offering gives the company the flex flexibility to get the paperwork out of the way now and then offer the shares only when it needs the cash or, or like when the market conditions are good. Now they also. It's also signaling to investors that the company intends to raise capital for new projects so uh, or possible acquisitions or maybe refinan uh, refinancing in the future. This could also be offered to ARC Genomics, you never know. Now, this shelf offering was done also by Nano Dimension, and this is giving me good vibes because Nano Dimension is a really good, another good company that I'm invested in, and it's a really good uh, 3D company. And yeah, I think I'm just gonna keep this short. So yeah, that was the news. So uh, yeah, see you guys uh, tomorrow. Take care.